Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create instrument presets using effects chains or track templates in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to add a keyboard part using a virtual instrument plugin. And the way to do that is you add a new track, set up your inputs to your keyboard, turn on monitoring, put it into record, and put the instrument plugin on the effects. So you go down here and find all your instruments to add to that track. Let's say I wanted to use Serum right here. I double click it, and that'll open up where we can go through all the presets. Now, typically with third party plugins, the presets are in different places. Instead of being up here, many times they'll be in sections like over here or down over here. Let's choose one on the sequences. Let's check out Chord Simple. And then I can play it and see if it'll work in my song. But as you can see, it's kind of a complicated process. And we could speed this up in a few different ways, especially if you prefer certain presets. Let's say I really like this one and I want to save it to use again. Instead of remembering it here, I'm going to save it as an effects chain. So I'll go up here and select this, right click it. Go to Effects Chains and save selected effects as a chain. And that's going to open up my directory where the Reaper application is stored. There's already a folder called Effects Chains. So let's save it based on the preset name, which is Chords Simple. And now, next time I want to use that preset, all I have to do is right click the Effects button, go to Effects Chains, and find it right over here, Chord Simple. And that's going to add that plugin along with the preset that was chosen when we save this as an effects chain. So we're ready to go. But an even quicker way of setting this up is to save our track as a track template. So let's clear the effects. Let's give this a color. Let's save this as a track template. Save tracks as track template. And here we can save our tracks as templates that we can recall later. I'll name this new MIDI track and save it. And then what I need to add an instrument, I can just right click over here, go to insert track from template and choose new MIDI track from here. And that opens up a new track with my input, monitoring, and it's in record, ready to go. So now I can just right click over here, go to effects chains, and add in that preset. Or we could skip that step and add the preset right to the track template. So we could right click right here, save tracks as track template, and save this whole track with the preset already on there. Name it Chord Simple. And now, when I want that preset, I can just right click right here, insert track from template, and choose it right here. And it opens it up with my track ready to go and that preset already there. It's a lot quicker to do it this way. But let's add another preset. Let's delete this one. Let's go down and find this plugin right here called Crystal. This also has a lot of good sounds. Let's just choose one right down here called Satchu Loop, which sounds like this. And let's say we like this one and wanted to use it again. We just do the same thing. Right click it, go to Effects Chains, Save selected effects as chain and just name it and put it in this folder. But instead of putting it right out here, I'm going to create a new folder 
to keep things organized. I'll name it Arpeggios. Now we have a folder right here. Then we can save that preset right in that folder. And now, whenever we want it, just right click over here, go to Effects Chains, Arpeggios, and choose that preset. And it opens right up with that preset already there. Or we could save this as a track template. Just right click, save tracks as track template, create a folder here for arpeggios, and save it in here. Then, if I want to create a new track with that preset already there, just right click, insert track from template, go to arpeggios, and choose the preset right here. And it creates a new track with that preset already there. Let's create another one. Let's clear this. And this time, we'll choose the instrument Tau Noisemaker. And here we change the presets right from up here. Let's choose one called Super Sync. And that sounds like this. And again, we can save this as a track template or just an effects chain. Right click it, effects chains, save selected effects as chain. Let's put it in the arpeggios folder and we'll name it Super Sync. And again, just right click over here, effects chains, arpeggios, Super Sync. And that opens it up with this preset right away. So you can quickly switch to each preset just by right clicking the effects button. From this one, to this one, to this one. And it's a lot quicker from choosing each plugin first and going through all the presets. As when you're organizing all the folders you create here, I have one for strings, Mellotron, Plucked, Pianos, and so on. You don't have to worry about which plugin you used. You can just save them all in the same folder. So you can go through them very quickly. And this is also useful for layering different plugins. For example, I created a piano pad by using this plugin here, Piano One, and adding a pad to it by using this plugin here. And then I chose down over here where we choose the presets, my pads, and this preset right here. So when you blend the two sounds, it sounds like this. And I could blend them using the volume right here. And if I'm happy with it, I could save it as a track template or an effects chain. Just right click, effects chains, save all effects as chain. I'll put this in my piano folder that I created and just name it piano pad. And now, when I want that sound, just right click, effects chains, pianos, piano pad. And it opens up with both plugins, my piano and my pad, blended together with each preset. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you I also save my drum kits this way. I could right click, Go to effects chains and go to drums and choose kit, which is something I saved earlier, which uses 
Resample-matic, 5,000 for each sample I'm using. One for the kick, the snare, the clap, and so on. So I save this as a tone effects chain. By going right here, save all effects as chain, and going to my drum folder that I created, and saving it right here. But I also saved it as a track template. So I can just right click over here, insert track from template, go to my drums, and kit one. And I created that track with all the effects already there. Ready to go in just a few clicks. So that's creating instrument presets using effects chains or track templates in Reaper. I hope you learned something, I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.